Hello, 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 YouTube family and friends. Good evening. Good evening, good evening, good evening. Um, if you're not, uh, I forgot what I was gonna say. Y'all lost my train of thought just that fast. If you're not, um, subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. Hit the subscribe button right now, y'all. Hit the subscribe button right now. Also, comment in the comment section down below, and as you come in to view the content, just hit the like button. Hit the like button. Okay, y'all, go ahead on and just hit the subscribe button. Y'all help me reach to a thousand subscribers. Okay, right now I'm at 539. 539. Now... What I do want to say is when I was talking about all, oh, maybe I should start back talking about what I was talking about at first. They got me to 400 and something subscribers because those subscribers was coming fast. They was coming fast. Um, but, you know, since I changed content and started talking about my real life, because this is my life right here. This is my life. This is not nobody else's life. This is my life and my sacrifice. Okay? And people don't want to hear about that. People want to hear about uh, murder and killing and stuff like that. When I'm actually showing you guys my day-to-day -day life. You know what I'm saying? Talking about my own life. It's not hot. It's not hot right now. But I just hate my oily skin. I don't know why my skin is just so oily. It's so oily. And I do have this fan on, so I hope you guys can hear what I'm saying over the fan. But anyway, yeah, this is my this is my real life. I'm really living this life that I'm showing you guys that I'm talking about. But and, and nobody, you know, wants to hit the subscribe button. It's like I'm not asking for anything but just to push a little button. Just push a button. Push a button. You know, um, just to build um, subscribers. But as long as I'm talking about people getting murdered, people getting killed, my uh, views was, I mean, my subscribers was going fast. But maybe I should start back talking about that because nobody wants to hear about nobody boring old life, I guess. You know, but anyway, my that, that, that talking about um, that murder and killing and stuff like that, yeah, that, that, that touched my soul. You know, I, I, I love to talk about that because I have a daughter. And now she's going back to college. And I just pray so hard for her. Pray that she's all right at all day and night. I don't care. I don't care. I just, I really just have her. Uh, I call her all through the day. I have my older daughter looking up her location to make sure my daughter is where she's supposed to be. And all of that. But. Anyway, what I want to get on here and say today, y'all, is follow your own, follow whatever whatever passion you have, just follow that. Follow that passion because, and, and stop letting your ego and pride get in the way. And and stop letting, if any, stop letting what people think about you, you know, um, stop you. Stop you from getting to where you want to be. You know, um, so many people have something to say about me right now, about um, me living in my truck. But guess what? I have no worries, no bills, no nothing. I'm working right now trying to get my, my truck fixed. Um, something, it's a lot of corrosion or something in my in my uh what the hell is that oh radiator <laughs> it's a lot of corrosion in my radiator i don't know what what it's from um also in the reservoir it's corrosion and stuff up in there i don't know what that's from and i want to get that fixed because i don't even know what that may do to my truck it's not my truck is not driving funny it's not you know um acting like it's about to stop, break down, it's not running high, it's not doing any of that. So, but I don't want nothing to happen in the long run because like I tell y'all all the time, I really, 
I want to quit my job and so I could do Uber Eats. And the reason being is because there's a lot of other things that I really want to be doing throughout the day instead of being at a job for eight hours. I'm really upset at that job because for one thing, y'all, I really like wearing scarves. <laughs> that ain't even a big thing. That ain't even a big issue. Or, you know, um, whatever. But I, I just love wearing scarves on my head. I love wearing scarves. My forehead is so big, y'all. I always have my forehead covered up. Because before I had these dreads, whatever, I always either wore a Chinese band or I wore a swoop across my forehead. Um, so since I stopped doing that and started growing these dreads, then I started wearing scarves on my head. So, and that job don't allow you to wear a scarf. The job, I've never been without earrings. Now, I, I'm to the fact that I ain't had no earrings on in so long since working at that job. I don't even know where none of my earrings are now. Where none of them is at. And I feel like that's control because I, I like to argue with people. And I be wanting to argue with the people so bad, you know what I'm saying, especially about my earrings. Now, I ain't too much worried about the scarf because it is what it is. But I'm a female. You know, females look. I always just get on my daughter, my baby girl, about wearing earrings. You know, as she was growing up, she pierced her own ears, y'all. She had earrings going all the way. She put holes all the way down. She got like five holes in, in each ear. But now, as she's a young adult she don't wear earrings you can't get her to wear no earrings today and that and that upsets me because I, I love to see the girls and women and stuff with earrings on um so yeah y'all uh stop letting stop stop worrying about what people think of you because i don't i don't worry about what people think of me i I just don't like my forehead. I don't care what nobody else say about me. I just hate to, I, I just don't like my forehead to be out. And I love to have my earrings on. But in life, whatever you decide to do, whatever you're thinking in your head, do not let another person stop you from doing what you want to do or being who you are. God made every last one of us individually. Except for the twin, well, even the twins are individually. And their twins is not, it not all, you know, like they don't do just everything, everything together, you know, or whatever. Are they not? It's some, it's something different about them. It's something different about twins, triplets, quadruplets, or whatever the case may be. But I see, I be seeing a lot of people like, oh, I've been thinking about living like that. I think about living like that I thought about living like that then you hear other people but you live in my dream I want to live like that this now what's what stopping you other people what other people gonna say what other people gonna think and then you hear people um oh I, I want to do that I want to do that I want to do that but then even their kids stop them you know what I'm saying other folks what people think you know I, I promise you I'm not worried about what nobody think about me living in my truck because at the end of the day ain't nobody helping me with nothing ain't nobody helping me with nothing my cousin asked me one day um we were talking me me my cousin and my sister was on the phone the other night and my sister uh i mean my cousin was like um asking me we were talking about me staying in this truck and then my cousin going to ask me, do you pray? I say, what do praying got to do with me living in my truck? What, what does praying have to do with me living in my truck? She talking about, um, bitch, I was just saying, I was just asking you. She was like, because, bitch, I pray every night and this, that, 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 that. I was like, okay, but why you never asked me, did I pray when I was staying in them apartments and stuff and in them houses? You never asked me, do I pray? So what does praying have to do with me living in my truck? That doesn't have anything to do with my truck. You know, I mean, that don't got nothing to do with me living in my truck. What I'm doing, I'm doing, I don't care what nobody think about, about the way that I'm living. Because when I was standing in an apartment and house, I paid my own bills. 
living in this truck, I'm still doing my own thing. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nobody handed me nothing. So why should I think or worry about what somebody else think? Um, I thought when my niece called me the other night, I thought that she said, uh, I thought um, my niece told me she went to one of my videos, which is that is what she told me. But I guess um, she told my daughter someone called her and told her about me living in my truck. So that's what made her call me at the end of the day, you know. And then she she and I was, you know, had the conversation about me staying in my truck. And she don't think that that's a good idea. But then... Um, my daughter was like, my niece was like, uh, got people calling me and saying this and that or other. Then, you know, like, I, I don't care. I, I put this on YouTube. Even if people that's not subscribed to my channel still are able to go on my channel and look on there, whether they're subscribed or not. So, therefore, when I did it, I knew the consequences. So I'm not worried about nobody. And for one, I'm not worried about how I live. Because one thing, me living in this truck does not define who I am at the end of the day. I know who I am. I know who I am and I know whose I am. So my ego is, not, I'm not letting my ego get in the way of what I'm trying to do. And I'm definitely not letting pride get in the way of what I'm trying to do. I am my own person. You know, I am who I am. And it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, nobody, nobody defines who I am. I have always been a person that I've never cared what people think about me. I go wash my ass every night. If I don't go to Planet Fitness, which, like, at least five days out the week, I go to Planet Fitness to shower. If I don't, I have a big old bowl back there and I have a bucket full of bottled water that I pull the water inside the big bowl. I have my Dove body wash, deodorant, lotion, and baby powder. You know, um, so, and, and that's what I do. I eat every day. I have clean clothes. I got this big old thing here, right here. I, oh, it hurt my arm. This, this is dirty clothes. I was supposed to wash today, but I went to <laughs> y'all went all the way to the to the laundromat, and I went in there and asked the man, "Is he gonna be open tomorrow?" And he, cause Sunday, I usually wash on Sunday, but because we're off tomorrow, I was like, uh, "I'm just gonna rest Sunday." Ooh, what is that? Oh, it's on the outside. I said, "I'm gonna rest." Um, Monday. I mean, I'm going to rest Sunday and I'm going to uh, wash on Monday because I went to ask the man and he said that uh, he's going to be open tomorrow. So I said, oh, okay. I said, well, I'll be back tomorrow. <laughs> All the way in the wash house, y'all. I said, well, I'll be back tomorrow. But anyway, y'all, um, yeah, don't don't let nobody uh stop you for what you you're trying to do. Um, living in your truck and stuff is not safe, but as long as you have you you're able to protect yourself, then do it. You know what I'm saying? Do what you want to do. Do what you want to do. It was something else I was just about to say, y'all. I clearly forgot what I was going to say. <clears throat> but just make sure that you protect at all times. You pay attention. <clears throat> Pay attention to your surroundings at all times. Any little thing I, I hear, y'all, I'm jumping up out of my sleep looking out the window. I'm not scared, but I want to make sure that I'm ready for whatever at all times. You know, at any given times, I'm ready for whatever. Anywhere in this truck is something to protect me. Whether I'm in the back, whether I'm in the middle, or whether I'm in the front. It's always something here to protect me at all times. I'm not worried about nothing. You know, um, one thing, though, if it's your time to go, you're going to go. And if it's not your time to go, God going to protect you. You know, but he's going to protect you. So, but um, what else I wanted to say? Uh...
this is not even what I want to say because I don't forgot, but what I am going to say is even your kids, you know what I'm saying? Even, even whatever your kids think. I don't care what my kids think about what I do because I can't run their life. They're, they're at a certain age right now to where I can't run their life. But I still, I am still able to talk to them and tell them whatever uh, I want to tell them or whatever. But don't mean that they're going to listen to what I say. They live in their lives the way they want to live their life. So I'm going to live my life the way I want to live my life. I'm grown. I'm, I'm their parent. I'm, I'm their mother. You know, so I'm not worried about what they think. <clears throat> I'm not worried about what they think. They ain't able to help me with what I got to do in life. You know, so I'm not worried about what they think. They they all work, but they all got their own families and their own household and their own kids and stuff to take care of. So they can't take care of me and my daughter. You know, so they live they like I'm not worried about what they think about how I'm living or whatever. I told them what I told them and that was the end of it. You know, they may, they, they not comfortable with it. They still not thinking, you know, they still don't think that it's a good idea. But hey, this the way I feel like it's a the good idea, you know. Oh my God, it was something I wanted to tell y'all, y'all. It's important to me, but I guess it's not important to my mind um but anyway y'all live your life accordingly to however what you think is best you know however you think is best for you to live your life live your life there don't live your life based on what the next m and f got to say about you or what they think about you because at the end of the day all my kids is grown all of them are grown. My baby girl, she 19. Daddy is grown, but she's in school. That's the only reason. <clears throat> Dang. That's the only reason I am helping her and supporting her or whatever and um, sacrificing for her because she's in college. But like I say, she works. You know, she, she works as well. She works full time and she also goes to school full time. You know, so... <laughs> Why wouldn't I help her? Also, uh, yeah, everybody is grown. Everybody living the way they want to live. Everybody living on their own. Everybody doing what they want to do. So let me do what I want to do. Let me do what I want to do. So this is not where this was supposed to be going, y'all. I'm not lying. I was supposed to mention a little something. But this is not where this was supposed to go. I cannot think of the topic that I was supposed to talk about. That is so crazy. I cannot think of it. Um, anyway. Uh... If I find, um, when I find stories, more stories, um, y'all, I'm going to start talking about those stories that I used to talk about, uh, but you know me, I like to do the up-to-date stories, I don't like to talk about old stories, so when I find stories, I'm going to talk about those stories. But y'all, I want to quit my job so bad, y'all, I want to quit my job so bad, um, I really want to do Uber Eats. So let me tell y'all this. Like I was saying about uh, this job, when I was saying about they don't let you wear scarves and stuff. Actually, it's certain people that they do let wear scarves and stuff because I've been seeing people with scarves on their head. And I also be seeing boys with uh, those sweater caps on their head. So why can't we as females wear? That's what I'm saying. That's why I want to quit. Why can't we well it's some females do be having on scar but it depends on what you know they not they look they have a different supervisor than i have my supervisor made me take my scarf off and say we can't wear the scars on here because where we work at they sell scars there you know what i'm saying so i guess they figured that you're gonna steal them but also the caps those boys be wearing they still they they let them wear them you know and 
Whatever, you know, I, I'd be so mad. I'd be so mad because I don't like people to feel like they got control and power over me. But I don't say nothing. I just go on and do what I do because I know why I'm there. So it's not like they have a total effect on me. You know, um, I, I'm, I'm just there for y'all little money. That's it. I'll take my scarf off. You know, I won't wear my earrings. I'd be so mad. Even though, even they don't let you wear jewelry and stuff. But then you see boys there, boys, they be having, they still had a nose piercing in, you know, um, they had a little bull earring, you know what I'm saying? But y'all won't let girls do what, boys can do everything there. But girls can't do nothing there at that job. That, that pisses me off. Um, also, y'all do not get stuck in no jobs that you don't like. You know what I'm saying? Like, like you hate. When my alarm clock goes off in the morning time, y'all, I be so mad. Do y'all hear me? I be so mad. I be stressed off. I be, I be just so upset. My energy be down. You know what I'm saying? My, um, I be in a low vibrational state. I hate getting ready to go to that job. I'm not lying. The job itself, the job is not hard at all. My grand, my nine-year-old grandson can go there and do what I do there. It's just the fact that I don't want to be there. You know, I don't want to be there. So, y'all, don't get stuck in doing jobs. Don't get stuck in doing jobs that you don't want to do. Because it will affect your energy. It will affect your energy, y'all. Um, I, I be so drained while i'm there working because i'm doing something that i'm not enjoying doing it's not it it's not the job y'all it's not the job it's just the fact that i'm there doing what i don't want to do you know um i i i won't i don't want to be there I, it's a lot of things that i want to be doing during those eight hours that I'm there, wasting my time there when I have a lot of other stuff that I need to be doing. So, that's, that's the only problem that I have. That's the only problem that I have. Um, is that I'm there just doing what I don't want to do. You know, I it's just taken away from me. Because when you lose time, you cannot get that time back. You can't get that time back. That time that I'm there is wasting what I need to be doing. Otherwise, you know what I'm saying? And then when you got your two off days, those two off days go so fast and you try to rest. But you 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 can't really just do what you want to do on your on those two off days because that's burning you out. Because now you're not getting no rest for the week. Then when you are resting up for those two off days, you it, <laughs> you just resting up to cover and build the energy back up for that week that's coming you know um it's so crazy so don't do not waste your time doing something that you don't want to do or you're not comfortable doing why am i how is this truck rocking i was not rocking but don't waste your time doing what you what you don't want to do make sure you do Take all your energy that you have and put it into doing what you really want to do. Do not let time pass and you don't waste so much of your time doing something else. Doing something else like I'm doing right now. You know, because you cannot get that time back. I promise you, you can't get it back. You know, I promise you cannot get it back. But, um... I'll talk to y'all later. I just wanted to vent for a little minute. And then I really lost my train of thought. So if it does come back, what I did want to say, I'll be back. I will be back. So I'll talk to y'all later. If you're not subscribed to my channel, y'all, please subscribe to my channel. And that's another thing. People, people, everybody channel that I click on, I subscribe to their channel. You know what I'm saying? Whether I'm ever going to come back and watch it. If I feel like I'm not going to watch their channel, and, and if it's something I don't always want to watch, then I'm not hitting the not notification bell because, for what? Because I'm not going to watch it. But if it's something that I'm interested in watching and I know that this is what you're talking about or whatever, then I hit the notification bell. 
but I do subscribe. Everybody, uh, everybody, um, channels that I click on, I subscribe. I hit the subscribe button. You know, because what is it taking? What is it taking from me? It's not taking nothing from me. And I also hit like. I hit like on everybody channel that I um, click on and go watch. I, I always hit the subscribe button and I always hit the like button. It's not taking nothing from me and no, it's not giving me anything either. But if something come up that I want to watch and it's interested to me, then I'm going to go watch it. And if it's not, I just don't hit the notification bell. But I am subscribed there whether I go back to it or not. And I also already hit the like button on that video. You know, and if I run into it again down the line to another video that they have, then I'm going to say, oh, okay. You know what I'm saying? And, and hit they like button. Hit the like button to it. Yep. So, anyway, y'all. Y'all hit the subscribe button. Y'all subscribe to my channel. If you're not subscribed to my channel, y'all hit the like button and comment in the comment section down below. Um, and I'll be back if when that uh, I'll be back when my train of thoughts come back. <laughs> it's just that I have a lot of things on my mind, y'all. A lot of things on my mind. A lot of things on my mind. So many things. But um, I'm but I'm not stressed out and I'm not depressed and I'm not um whatever I, i'm not i'm not worried that's what i meant to say i'm not worried i'm not stressed out i'm not depressed it's just i have a lot of things that i'm thinking about okay I'm, i got a lot of things on my mind at one time a lot of things so i'll talk i'll be back y'all talk to y'all lady y'all subscribe y'all hit the like button okay comment in the comment section down below i'll talk to y'all later Bye.